morning guys uh, once again welcome back to my channel today i'll be discussing with you car parking sensor paano ba nag-work to ano ba yung advantage nito sa sasakyan natin once we have this at the back of our car and uh, running electronics how can this be used in practical world like using it as a parking sensor Ito mga parts ng car parking sensor natin. We have this ultrasonic emitter. And at the same time, ultrasonic receiver. And then your display. Diyan mo makikita yung bar kung malapit na or babangga na. And this has a 7 segment display showing the distance in meters kung gano nakalayo or gano nakalapit yung object. CPU. What it does is, uh, ito yung nagko-compute ng uh, signal emitted para makita niya kung, or siya ang nagsasabi siya, nagko-compute kung gano'n nakalayo or gano'n nakalapit yung object. Para hindi kayo malito, for demo purposes, isa lang muna yung gagamitin natin sa pag-demo ko sa inyo and later I'm gonna show you kasi this uh, came with uh, four sensors, apat na ganito covering the back uh, portion of your car once this is installed. Ito lang, isa lang kasi siya. Siyempre, yung coverage niya konti lang, no? yung range niya. And then, pag pinadami mo yung sensors, uh, meaning, mas marami kang makocover when uh, your car is backing up ng ultrasonic sensor. Basic principle, ito, yung parking sensor natin, Pagka nag-reverse tayo sa sasakyan, this CPU will be activated. And at the same time, this parking sensor will be activated as well. This will emit. So, magsasend to ng ultrasonic waves papunta sa object or obstacle. And then, i-receive niya ulit. Magbabounce yung ultrasonic wave papunta rin sa kanya. And then, i-co-compute niya yun kung gano'n nakalayo o gano'n nakalapit yung wall or an obstacle at nagba-back up kayo na ano niya yun uh, kinocompute niya yung pag-bounce uh, from the object going back pagka habang nangyayari yun nagko-compute yung CPU and then yung output yung computation ng CPU ipapakita niya dito as a display pakita niya dyan yung display gano'n nakalayo and then the bar uh, meron niyang uh, color bars na pagka red meaning you're, uh, you're very near or baka bumangga ka na sasabihin niyan and there's also a beeping sound coming out uh, from this uh, holes telling you pagka malayo pa yung ano yung object ano pa yan pa isa isang beep pero pagka malapit na it's gonna give intermittent beeps na mas mas mabilis na yung beep tapos pagka super lapit na kayo it's going to send out or a beep uh, continuously. Mag-steady na yung beep niya. Later, pakita ko sa inyo. Nag-pre-drilled holes na tayo dito. Representing, uh, simulating. Uh, ito yung likod ng sasakyan nyo. And then, uh, ito yung kunyari, ito yung bumper, for example. We're gonna put uh, the sensor here. And then we're gonna test and uh, I'll show you paano nag work yun. So we have a uh, 12 volts power supply simulating a uh, car battery. And then once you reverse, ito yan. Tinatap kasi to sa transmission switch or yung iba para mas madali, doon na lang sa, sa reverse uh, light ng sasakyan sa likod. Kasi pareho lang din naman yun. Once uh, they engage or uh, the driver engages the reverse uh, shift ma-activate tong car parking sensor natin like so yeah nag alarm siya kasi malapit na yung object natin ilalayo ko ha so, ito yung sensor natin here's our sensor you know wala na siyang na-detect doon then watch out ito kung makikita nyo ito yung 7 segment display showing how many meters tapos ito naman yung proximity bar kung malapit na kayo, malayo pa o malapit yan, makikita 
Okay, so we remove the object. So, ang nakikita mo dyan is 2.2. I do hope nakikita nyo yun. Medyo maliit ng konti. But, so, susubukan natin lumapit, ha? There. Yan, nadidetect na niya ako. Palapit. Showing you 0.9 of a meter. So, less than uh, 1 meter. 0.8. 0 0.7 0 0.6 0 0.5 Ang continuous beep nito is uh, nasa 0.2 of a meter 0.4 We're closing in 0.3 That's your 0.2 of a meter This is approximately uh, I think that's uh, 12 inches or 1 foot So meron pa kayong allowance Pag nag continuous beep na yan uh, meron pa kayong konti uh, something a uh, space to ano pa kung magbabak up ka pa ng konti pagka may car parking sensor kayo make sure na mabagal lang yung pag-atras nyo hindi yung mabilis kasi babangga din kayo eh so work with the system I mean uh, pagka nagbabak up kayo ng sasakyan nyo make sure you give your system or your car sensor to compute for the distance. Yan ang pag-atras nyo, mabagal lang. Yan na. Mabangga ka na nun. So kung uh, meron pa kayong camera in tandem, that's nice kasi meron kayong visual, meron kayong audio, tone, na sensor, naririnig nyo pa. Ayan no? Mas, ano, mas safe for you guys to uh, reverse with this one. Yan. I bought this kasi ang plano ko ikabit sa Strada since yung Strada natin na uh, GLS 4x2 80 it doesn't have uh, din came with the uh, backing sensor. Meron lang camera yung sasakyan. Nakikita mo lang meron lang grid lines. Yung, yung sa screen ng sasakyan but you don't have an, any idea kung bumangga ka na or what or babangga ka na uh, parang palatandaan lang yung grid lines but the grid lines are just grid lines it doesn't uh, say that uh, oh you're near or ano kasi syempre iba ang ano eh iba ang perspective mo or point of view mo pagka sa camera sa camera kasi akala mo hindi pa babangga yung pala babangga na kasi nga of the angle and of course, merong lens yung camera, iba yung sukat nun versus sa tamang, uh, sa tingin natin, sa mata natin. It aids you para ma-size up mo or matansya mo, ma-measure mo na kung babangga ka na o hindi pa. For example, uh, umaatras ka, biglang meron palang tao na dumaan, Masi-sense niya. Mabibip na agad. So kahit, uh, ang, ang advantage dito kahit sa dilim, since uh, this uh, uses ultrasonic waves, it doesn't need light. So kahit sa dilim, umaatras ka, hindi makita ng camera mo kasi walang ilaw yung sa likod. Mara, maano mo pa rin, masi-sense mo pa rin kasi you have this uh, back sensor with you. Diba? Yan. Oh, very consistent. Right? So, we're gonna uh, try to install the rest of the sensors. Yan, lagay pa natin. And then, ito, pag install natin to dun sa bumper ni Strada, we're, we're gonna spread it out para makover niya yung buong backside ng bumper. Kasi actually yung yung ano kailangan talaga ng mga pickups to kasi mahirap magtansya ng distance sa likod talaga pag umaatras ka wala kang idea eh. hindi mo makita yung sa likod mo uh, I'm not really contented with the visual aid dun sa camera kasi yun nga hindi mo alam pa rin kung babangga na or what until yan bumangga ka na nakikita mo lang na umaatras ka nakikita mo may object but you don't have any idea kung gano'n nakalayo or gano'n nakalapit 
yung obstacle or yung wall or yung object uh, na inaatrasan mo. Having this is a is a nice equipment added to your car. This is not limited for pickups alone but uh, for all vehicles to help our driver provide an estimate on how far or how near the car is uh, moving towards the wall, towards an object, or if there's an obstacle while backing up. Nilagay na natin yung apat na sensor. Nandiyan na. Then, oh, malayo pa lang. 1.7 meters na re-receive na niya. But it's not beeping kasi malayo pa talaga. Yan, let me uh, give you a closer view on what is happening. Ito, ilalagay natin sa ibabaw ng ano, rear mirror. Ito, on, just on top. Para pag nag-back up tayo, nakikita natin. So, green, meaning malayo pa yung object, uh, which is static naman yun. Wall kasi yung, ano, eh, yung uh, re-receive niya, yung nakikita niya. We have these four sensors. In application, uh, buong span ng ano nung bumper. Uh, this is just uh, for presentation. It's not a recommended distancing ng ng sensors, but uh, I'll show you pag uh, nasa ano na nasa sasakyan. Uh, I'm also gonna show you kung paano siya na mount. Sa sa Montero naman natin, uh, ano na yun eh, built in na yun eh. When I purchased the the unit, meron na siyang back back sensor and the monitor sa Montero naka-integrate na doon sa ano sa panel ng sasakyan. So it's not a separate thing na inad but uh, integrated na sa dash ng ng sasakyan natin. But the concept is the same. Walang pinag no, walang pinagkaiba. It uses uh, ultrasonic uh, sensors na magko-compute ng waves uh, that was uh, thrown out or sent out and then going back from the wall or from the object and it computes here uh, from our CPU and then it displays the, the distance, computed distance. I'm gonna show you sa close-up uh, ano natin, version natin para makita nyo yung talaga nangyayari. Right? So right now it's 1.7 pupunta ako dito manda, then yan na, na-receive niya na ako it's 1.3 Ayan, naglalakad ako. Kahit ako na lang pala. Naglalakad na lang ako. It's, uh, yun. 0.6. I'm half a meter away uh, from the sensor. Which is quite accurate if I'm uh, not mistaken. It's a uh, 98% accurate. 0.5. 0.4. 0.6. As I go near, 0.3, that's 0.2. Pag 0.2 yan, nasa 12 inches, most probably. Kaya mag-continuous beep na siya, still have your allowance. Meron pa kayong konting uh, margin. Uh, kung napaatras kayo ng konti, hindi naman babangga agad. But uh, it just indicates that you need to stop now yung beep na yan. Tsaka yung beep, dinesign talaga yan to irritate you. <laughs> Hindi to, ano, to make you panic. Siyempre, para itigil mo na, stop mo na yung sasakyan. It will only stop pagka dinisengage mo na yung reverse o kaya pag walang obstacle. See? Yun yan. 1.7. Yan yung distance natin from uh, the sensor going to our wall there. Yung wall natin doon. It's uh, around 1.7. So, nakocompute na yan. That's in meters. It's not in feet. If you have questions, guys, about this car parking sensor, please uh, leave a comment on the video. And uh, I will try to uh, answer your queries. So, okay ba guys? Yung car parking sensor. 
this is not an expensive equipment or uh, to be added on your vehicle super ano to, super cheap i'm also gonna leave the link in the description of this video as your reference uh, for you to be able to purchase the same thing if you you know decide to purchase a car parking sensor and integrate it at the back of your car this also can be integrated no or can be attached or installed in front of your bumper yun lang you need to manually uh, switch it on uh, maglalagay ka lang kayo ng uh, manual switch sa may harap ng sasakyan nyo since wala naman talagang uh, switch to enable it whenever you need it for the front portion of your car kasi um Uh, ganito yun. let me set you an example you're parking towards a wall and then you don't have any idea kung gano'n nakalayo yung ano yung bumper nyo yung front bumper nyo uh, going to the wall wala kang idea and no one's helping you eh kung nakakabit to itong mga sensor na to sa harapan ng sasakyan nyo and uh, you just uh, flip a switch to activate it magkakaroon kayo ng idea kung malapit or malayo pa kayo sa wall while parking. Okay guys, let's have a full recap of what was discussed here in this video on our car parking sensor. First, we have this sensor. That's our ultrasonic sensor and emitter. And then that sensor is connected to our CPU. Central processing unit. It's where the the computation of the distance is uh, being done, and then the display is uh, sent with bars. This is your display showing you the distance, and then there's also a beep being emitted so that you can uh, be able to uh, listen to an audible signal and telling you if uh, you're already near. The object and this is your wall the ultrasonic uh, sensor will be emitting signal or ultrasonic wave towards the object or wall and then that wave will bounce back as a wave again to the sensor and then the length of time the travel time of uh, the waves uh, being bounced up to this uh, sensor will be computed and the CPU will compute it and then it will display you the distance okay ba guys okay magsisend lang siya ng ultrasonic uh, wave tapos babalik then yung travel time nun pagbalik niya dito, yun yung kinocompute niya. Time, and then, uh, there's a computation running here. Pag uh, lumabas na yung result, papakita niya dito sa display. And then, all, there's also a beep. It'll be coming out, interpreted. Pagka malapit na, tititititit, gano'n yan. Pagka uh, uh, super lapit na, it's gonna be a constant beep. Pero pag malayo pa, it's not gonna do anything. So yan, yan ang basic concept ng, ano natin, ng uh, car park sensor. It's a good aid uh, for us. Kahit anong sasakyan yan, hindi lang pick up uh, SUV, truck, uh, lalo truck, and uh, cars, and uh, you're backing up and uh, trying to park on a tight space. Uh, you're really concerned of uh, you know uh, crashing into another one's car or crash into a wall so at least you have this aid providing you approximate distance uh, of your bumper to an object or to uh, the wall kung babangga ka na o hindi and tulad ng pinapakita niya dito it's probably an object o kaya another car so magbibip yan yan ganyan bali nagsisend siya ng ultrasonic waves pero hindi lang send, it will receive back the ultrasonic wave tulad nun. Then may computation, papakita niya sa'yo, oh babangga ka na. Oh hindi pa, malayo pa. 
That's our basic concept. So I hope guys, uh, you learned a lot uh, from this video. If you're new to my channel, again, <laughs> please subscribe, uh, like, and share the video. And uh, I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye-bye!